terror mastermind Hafiz Said's conviction farce has been exposed over a 30-year jail term, but in separate sentences that is going to run concurrently, causing a significant reduction in sentence. Many more deception tactics to avoid sanctions. Here's more. The sentencing of UN-designated global terrorist Hafiz Mohammed Said drew international attention. But was it a 30-plus year term or a ticket to freedom? In Siddhartha Dashat Gardi Adalat Se Ghair Qanuni Funding Ke Cases Me Kaladam Jamaat Ud Dawa Ke Sarbara Hafiz Saeed Ko 31 Saal Ki Sazaayin Suna Di Gai Hain Jamaat Ud Dawa Ke Sarbara Hafiz Saeed Ko Majmui Taur Per Do Mukadmat Me 31 Saal Qaid Ki Sazaayin Suna Di Gai Hain Pakistan's anti-terror court convicted Hafiz Mohammed Saeed on several charges of terror financing but the total sentence spans 33 years has been broken down in several smaller sentences. But here's the catch. According to the court order, all the sentences would run concurrently, which means a maximum imprisonment of five years. The court has given the UN-designated global terrorist the benefit of Section 382B of Pakistan's CRPC. Under this benefit clause, the sham house detentions served by the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks mastermind in the past would compensate for a large chunk of the sentence awarded by the anti-terror court. The special legal benefit is usually not extended to convicts of heinous crimes. But for Pakistan, Hafiz Mohammed Said is definitely special. As the power centers shift in Islamabad, the question remains, will India's most wanted terrorist ever be punished for the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks? In New Delhi, Ankit Kumar for India Today.